Hey guys, it's Aaron. Today's skill builder was actually suggested by a forum user, WO3Dan, suggested that we take a look at basically a way to assign a shortcut key to layer toggling. Layer toggling generally doesn't have shortcut keys because it's not a it's not actually a command. It's a, a state of our visibility layers. So uh, WO3Dan, I hate saying forum names, don't you? I'll put their name up on the screen somewhere so you can actually see who it is, had a suggestion using the geolocation layers uh, to create a toggleable layer system. So we're going to take a look at doing that right now. All right, I have a situation here. I'm, I'm modeling a, uh, a tower here, and I got an image, which I use a lot of reference images for my models. But one of the things that can be difficult is this image is now in the way of my model. So I have to do a lot of stuff like come around to the side or I have to set visibility to x-ray maybe. Um, there's different things I can do. What I generally do, my general workflow is to do something like this where I come in here and I make a layer. I call that layer ref, short for reference. And then I take that reference image and apply that to my reference layer. That way I can pretty quick and easily toggle that on and off as I need when I'm modeling. This is okay, but like I said, it's, it's not great because I do have to come over here. I cannot assign shortcut keys to turn individual layers on and off. Unfortunately, that's not a functionality that's available because it's not actually a command. Shortcut keys trigger commands. Turning a layer on and off is not actually a command. It's a state in this UI. But, like I said, we have a little bit of a shortcut we can use to create a shortcut kind of inception shortcuts there, but we have a, something we can do to create a shortcut. So first thing I'll have to do to do this is going to be multiple steps. The first thing I have to do is geolocate my model. It doesn't matter where I geolo geolocate it as long as the model is located. So I'm going to go to file and I'm going to geolocation and add a location. Um, I'm just going to grab a section of boulder real quick. I'm going to zoom in real tight and just uh, select a region. Again, like I said, it really doesn't matter where this is. All I want to do is grab a, a section off of geolocation so it creates the layers I want to use. So I'm going to go ahead and click on import. And there we go. So you probably recognize this. If I go up to file geolocation right now, I can click show terrain and that's going to pop in and give me my you know my bumps and hills and that kind of thing i can go back to geolocation now turn off show terrain it goes back to my flat view all that's happening when i click those commands from file is two layers are toggling on and off location snapshot and location terrain so i'm just flipping back and forth when i actually use that command because it is a single command over here in the file menu, I can actually assign a shortcut key to it. We're going to do that right now. We're going to go up to SketchUp Preferences. Remember on Windows, Preferences is under the Windows menu. I'm going to pull up Preferences and click on Shortcuts. In here, I'm just going to type Geo, and here is Show Terrain. I'm going to assign that to uh, the D key because it is available on my keyboard. That's the only reason. Once I assign that, just tapping the D key on my keyboard now, you can see here, toggles back and forth. Now, I'm gonna talk about secret things here. There's really nothing special about these two layers other than their exact names. What's on them doesn't have to even be on them. So what I could do right now is I can come into this layer this location snapshot and select the snapshot. It's locked. This happens automatically when you import, but I can right click, I can unlock, and I could delete that. Now, if I hit my shortcut key, I'm toggling between showing my train and showing nothing. If I go into my train, I can do the same thing. I can select, right click, unlock, and delete that. Now what I'm gonna do is take my reference image, and assign it to that snapshot layer. Now, 
I'm going to close my layers, and just by tapping the D key, I can quickly toggle that reference image on and off. This is especially helpful if you've got a bunch of reference images, or maybe I have two, maybe I have one from above and one in front, I want to switch between them. I could do that by just assigning them to both the snapshot and the terrain layer and toggle between them just by hitting D. In this case, I'm just toggling between having the image visible, which is my location snapshot layer, and location terrain, which is nothing. So I thought that was a pretty cool trick. Um, like I said, WO3 Dan submitted actually as a quick win, which is our little less than a minute videos. I couldn't find a way to do this justice in 30 seconds of speaking, so I could, but I have talked so fast, it really didn't make much sense. So I really wanted to make this into a skill builder, maybe expand upon it just a little bit. It is super helpful, like I said, with reference images, but you can also assign other things to that. If you want to assign uh, some of your geometry, maybe you have, you're working on an individual building like this, and then you have the rest of the surrounding context model is on a separate layer. You could switch that on and off, see how it goes. It works great with shadows because you can have uh, a geometry that casts shadows and turn that off and on just with the click of a key. Whatever portion of the model is most important to you and you want to toggle between quickly, you can do that with a single shortcut key by assigning it to those two specific layers. So hopefully you like that. If so, go ahead and click like down below. If you want to see more videos like this, we have them come out a couple times a week. Click on subscribe. That way you'll be notified next time we drop a video. Most importantly though, please leave us a comment. Let us know what you liked, what you didn't like, what we could do different. And if you have ideas for these videos, like I said, this one right here was suggested by a forum user. So had he not spoken up, I wouldn't have made this video. So the other thing, of course, is, you know, it helps us make videos. We like making these videos, but we like them a lot more when they're showing something that you want to see. Thank you.